Hi guys and welcome back to another video with your girl Polly Girl Budgets NZ. Let's do this. If this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to Polly Budgets World. If you keep coming back because you're loyal, thank you so much BCs. I really, really appreciate it. And if you've just randomly popped on, I hope you find something beneficial in this video. For you who are new, my name is Kay. I am from Auckland, Aotearoa, New Zealand. I have taken up cash budgeting at 30 uh, just to relearn money after multiple, multiple choices that have led me in about a 50k hole um, not including my student loan i've taken up cash budgeting to manage my money better and use every dollar with a purpose as always if you keep coming back and you haven't done it already why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you want to follow any of my social media platforms the handle is over here or you can find it down in the description box hope everyone has been well so in today's video we are going to be doing a very hard and fast cash stuffing um i get paid every fortnight for you who are new I currently am paying um, part of a mortgage to help out a family i pay rent at a property the property that i rent i pay my own um, utility bills and everything like that and the family house that i help out at i pay land rates four times a year on top of my mortgage contribution that i pay on a fortnightly i am currently filming and it's like 3 a.m in the morning i need to film to get this out of the way so that i'm not using any of this money so yeah let's just get into yeah, it as always guys we're gonna start off with my wallet and i have been liking this and i'm keeping with it so i have two five dollars left over from my wallet and also i have some coins um yeah this has worked out really well for me so i'm just keeping it i have um looked at doing a little um pouch but we're yeah that's gonna be another story time anyway um so as always all my coins are going into here these coins are what i've collected over this fortnight period all my coins are going in here so cheers and we will count that up i'm not too sure if i want to count this up to make up for my christmas challenge because i'm actually quite behind on my christmas challenge that one's that five dollar challenge so i have two fives left over and for the people who message me questioning if i get a ten dollar back and it's a ten dollar note i do not save that it's strictly only five dollars that i get handed back to me so we're able to put two fives in this week which is great okay guys see i'm telling you we are all about new ways and today is just going to be very fast okay guys awesome. how much we're working with today let's go ahead and count this money 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 100 so we have 200 dollars that we're going to be working with and saying that guys um a lot of my cash wallet stuff like my um i arranged this like my petrol i've already put in because um here in new zealand um sometimes it's a lot cheaper just paying at the pump um so i have already done that with my um with my card and yeah some of the extra stuff i just you know like i said money's tight so we've got 200 in here that we're going to be working with as always guys i've split up my budget planner and we are going to be working off that okay, today guys, so we're going to start off with our high priority binder because this is where most of my money is going i am not going to be cash stuffing every single envelope i'm really being specific this week because um I haven't got a lot to work with and it's getting to the you know money spending period so i want to make sure that i'm still um, going through my essentials first so debt today is going to get ten dollars and that is just going to be in 110 and there is 20 in there so that's 20 30 now in our utilities we are putting 20 in here this currently has a 20 so we're just going to put in one 20 so that's 40 dollars now in utilities the family home is going to be getting 20 dollars right now it has 20 30 so this will make it 50. Okay guys, this is the only story time I swear on this, my car maintenance. So a fortnight ago, my tire got a nail in it and I needed to change it. Long story short, I had decided after going and getting everything sorted 
that I will not be using my car maintenance money. The reason why is because I had savings and emergency savings, but also I didn't want to put myself in a financial position where I was going to be struggling when it comes to next year because my Warren of Fitness coming up in March and then a month later is always my retro. Um, that's the way I set it up. I don't know why, but I didn't want to be financially struggling when that happened, so I made the decision to just use my savings. So we'll get to my savings. You guys will see where I'm up to with my savings. And saying that, so I did not use any money from here, and I'm really happy that I made that decision. So in here we still have 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, two dollars. So today this is going to get ten dollars. So we'll just pop this in now. So car maintenance has 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, $92, which is great because it comes to that time next year. Sorry guys if my camera keeps moving. I'm trying out a new stand because I can't find my original stand. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit shaky today. Anyway, so we're going to fill out a $10. <laughs> Poly girl budgets, it's not going to get anything. Cash emergencies, it's not going to get anything. So emergency funds, it normally gets $25 and now it has $51, $52, And then we are going to put in a 20 and another 5 So now cash emergency has $51, 52 20 40 45 50 So we have $250 in cash emergencies and I get to fill in another little placement. Yay! Which means, guys, we are halfway to what our cash emergency fund target is and our target is um, $500. So we are nearly there. Yay! <laughs> There we go. So that is 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. Woohoo! So we're halfway. Now, my savings. Like I said, I decided to pay my bill out of here. Let's see how much we've got left. 51, 150. Okay. So we have 150 left in here. My overall bill at the tire place came up to $189. Um, in here, last time I had 340. I changed my tires. He said my brake pads aren't looking so great. He checked when my next Warren of Fitness was, so he knows that I'll be okay up until that point. That's why I just made the choice to use the money out of here. Um, in saying that, I next week coming up, this might be gone. Um, something's come up where I need to um, put money towards it. Um, it is a family expense that came out of the blue. Um, $10 for today. Um, so that brings it to $160. And I'm just putting in the $10 just because I still want to put money in here. If I don't use all of this, that is great. But, you know, if I have to put in for it, then... I just have no choice and that will be gone. Okay, partner is not getting anything in his envelope. And that is that for this binder. I felt like that took forever, even though it was meant to be a very short story. And we are going to swap out and go straight into our extension of our main wallet. So this binder just really has nothing in it. Um, we're only looking at three envelopes today. So groceries is going to get 15. So that's going to get a 10 and a 5 got most of my food it's just in here for the in case so there you go and uh, little ladies is the other envelope that we're going for and oh my gosh if they're just all <laughs> sticky to each other so little ladies today is going to get twenty dollars and that is going to be in a twenty dollar note form so we're just putting one in there this will probably go on maccas again because my nana's been really into eating maccas um, beauty is not getting anything. It probably won't get anything for a little while. Events coming up in December and that's when it will get something. Last one getting something is Mr. Wim and Mr. Wim is getting $10. I already bought him cat food but the thing is, so now this has 20 He won't eat anything else besides the Temptations. So he still needs like pretty much $20 in here every single fortnight on top of what he's eating. So... That is there, and um, it's, those are the only envelopes we're looking at here. Okay, this is going to be our last binder that we look at today, guys. And this is our challenge binder. Show us some love. Normally cash stuff in my 
my off week because I would normally sell something online and then this will get the money. So my last video got 39 likes. Thank you so much guys. I really appreciate it. I didn't have uh, $39 so I just put in a 40. 40 and I know I did a 30 for the 29. So we're just going to quickly give this a quick count. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So that is correct. We just rounded up because I didn't have the $9 and yeah okay guys i also managed to put some extra money in my hello spring challenge so if you have a look i only have one two three four five things that i need to complete so that's really really exciting so today this is going to get thirty dollars so two flowers are going to be filled in let's just have a quick count at what we have here right now we have got 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 20 30 40 45 50 55 60 65 and then we are going to be adding 30 dollars to this so we are going to grab a 20 and a 10 and let's just slot this in sorry guys i did that in the most confusing way ever more emojis to fill out that's so exciting guys okay so let's just give this a count one more time 50 60 70 80 90 110 120 30 40 50 60 70 75 80 85 90 95 so we have now 195 in here we are so close guys so so close so we have i have one more pay cycle before december i wanted this done before december so that's why i um chose to put in a little bit extra um on my week off when I sold stuff because I want to make sure that this is done 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 before December so now for Christmas challenge guys Anna's going to be getting $30 as well so we're going to get a purple we're going to fill out another little ornament I think 30 in here um let's go and open up this cash now in our Christmas envelope we have 51, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. And so there we go. This is the last $30 of our tree and that will bring this up. Well it should bring this up to 200. I'm so sorry guys. I feel like I'm all over the place. Let's just give it a quick count. 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. Our Christmas fund, I'm not too sure how far along we are going to make it in this, but we are going to try our hardest to get there. Um, if I do manage to sell anything over the next fortnight, I will be putting the extra money in here and also the spring challenge so that we can try and get as close as we can. Okay, guys, nothing else is going to get any money. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this video was very fast, um, but I hope you see the point is cash stuff what you can and when you need to just be specific if this video wasn't as great as my other ones it was really a hard and fast video because i needed to get this money into these envelopes before i find any more reasons to use the money if you are finding it hard to cash stuff every single envelope just focus on some just don't feel the pressure that you always have to cash stuff every single envelope wait until you're in a better financial position okay guys i'm gonna start rambling so let's not do that please stay safe have a great week everyone we will see you guys next time um until then keep safe and um yeah hey